on the head stream in, I'm cracking on with it. Got quite a bit done, there's still more to do though, as a, you know, I'm only doing, what I'm doing is basically a few hours each day, rather than actually having solid days at it. The ideal world I would do, like start at eight in the morning and keep going on through till it gets dark. But the thing is, I've got to try and do the milking, the scraping, you know, even with my brother doing some of it, I'm only fitting in around bits of other jobs. I mean, the other day I had to repair the milking parlor because part of the hopper just disintegrated with age. And so I had to stop and do that when I was supposed to be hedge trimming. Um, it was a bit of a, it's a chilly morning this morning. Look at it, look, look how foggy it is. Fog's got worse actually. It was when I when I was out here about eight o'clock this morning. It wasn't that foggy. It was just frosty. The frost has lifted. It's probably I don't know whatever temperature is probably two three degrees or something. It's pretty cold. Um, but the fog's come down, so I can't see much in front of me. But well, that's okay. And the other thing as well, when I started the tractor, because <coughs> it's been cold, the oil was cold in the engine and the hydraulics and everything like that. So the steering was really clunky because the uh, lubrication, I think, the power steering oil was uh, not very fluid because of its uh, cold. So the, it was like a bit stiff, but it's, it's, it's loosened up now because it's obviously warmed up with the engine running and everything. Right, so we're going to crack on down. We'll see what we can see. Right, um, hot master. Right, I better turn this off. He's doing a three and ten. The um, person who lost just saying their thank yous and hellos. Thank yous and hellos, thank yous and goodbyes. Right, um, we're going to do the 3 and 10. You know I love a bit of Popmaster 3 and 10. I will, thank you. Who's it going to be this time? Linda Allen, that right. is, in Litchfield. So it's Richard Cornock here, Stewart, trying to get 3 and 10. Okay, Mike, should we do this? Yes, let's do it. Okay, today please. The Come on boys, three girls. UK single chart hits. Four, three in ten. Earth, wind, and fire. Uh, Wonderland. Yes. September. Yes. <sighs> no. no. I knew Boogie Wonderland, but the trouble is, you try and think of it when you're under press, and you go, "Oh." Yeah, because I thought you had the. It's harder, actually. Like it's really hard. Uh, Boogie Wonderland. With the Boogie ocean. Wonderland. September. Let's groove over that one. After the love has gone. Not that many hits. My life. These are the biggest of the hits. Seventeen hits. Seventeen. Don't you? I think not many hits. Right, turn them off. I love a bit of Pop Master. One day I'm gonna have to get on here. I know a farmer up the road who got on it actually recently. But the trouble is, as you can tell, as soon as I start being under pressure, I'm like I can't remember Boogie Wonderland or whatever they sang. Um, what they want to do is give me three hits from the Beatles. <laughs> Everyone can get three of those, can't they? Penny Lane is in my heart and in my doodah. Right, let's crack on. Oh, there we go. We're back on it. Let's get back on. Funky Farmer, Crop Master. We're on Hedge Master, aren't we? I'm Hedge Master in today. Okay, so for your delectation, I'm gonna ask you three in 10. Can you name Turn the fan off for a minute. Can you name me quickly? You have five seconds to name three singles, three hits by Yazoo. Oh, that's a hard one. Yazoo. Okay, you got three and ten. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right, let's see if I can do it. Nobody's diary. Don't go, and only you. Only you is also hit by the flying pickets. And if you Google that, there's a good video. Um, Don't go. It's got a really good funny video with a uh, Frankenstein. <laughs> it's, got, it's sort of a bit of a funny one. Right. Anyway, crack on. I'm going to get on with this. Right. Let's go. Give it some welly.
I'm just going to put that down here. Right, that gate there, why is it open? I'm going to tell you why that gate's open. I'm going to go ahead and shut it in a minute for what good it'll do. So, the other night I had the poachers back again. Ah. <sighs> Um, so as you probably know I had them drive through the farm recently and then uh, I had a phone call the other night saying there was uh, lights in the field so I went out and investigated. Sure enough, cut a long story short, there was a 58 plate C-Max driving around and it stopped and picked up three guys with three dogs. I did have a little chat with them, I didn't get too close but I uh, told them what I thought of them. Um, and also the police, I got them plate. The police know where that car is. It's in Cardiff. Um, let's leave it at that. But basically, these hair courses, you might have seen it in the news about it, the government trying to do something about them. These hair courses are causing a major problem in this area. And uh, basically they're coming out at night with lurcher dogs. Yeah, I'll shut that now. Lurcher dogs, if they're not coming out with dogs, they're coming out with uh, vehicles like they did the other week. And um, they won't worry about locks, they won't worry about the police, they won't worry about a lot of other things. Um, very difficult to sit, deal with. Um, and the only thing they do understand is the nasty stuff. Um, but let's not go there. Anyway, it causes me a bit of a headache, as you can imagine. Uh, my wife worries about it as well. Right, anyway, I'm getting on with this. There's plenty more gates to shut around this farm, unfortunately. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Let's get going. Right, I'm just I'm coming on around the field and I'm just sort of trying to cut back. Let me just stop. I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm just cutting back what the growth from the hedge outwards. So. I didn't do this, I think it was too wet and I left this bit last year or the year before so this is sort of hadn't been properly cut back for probably about three years or something and basically what happens is the hedge here just wants to keep growing out. It's nature isn't it? it this, this field here isn't meant to be grass. If you just left this you know all this rewilding stuff that's, that's talked about in the press um, basically they're planting trees but if you just stopped farming it it would regenerate the trees itself eventually first of all you'd have the um, brambles come in and then what would happen over time the uh, brambles would then sort of be replaced by a canopy of trees eventually because the trees would seed from the edge of the field so anyway we're gonna have a look at this and it is quite interesting because there's a line of barbed wire and you can see where it's grown out from so right so there's my original hedge there, that's, that's some elms in there, that's mostly elm, you can see those at the top. So this is sort of scrub that's growing out, and this is blackthorn. Blackthorn creeps, uh, creeps underground and it'll come out. So look, can you see the wire line there? There's the barbed wire, just there. Now look, where's the hedge? The hedge line is there. The barbed wire was there originally, that was the edge of the field, and this, all this, has come out. So the hedge is trying to grow outwards. Look, this is blackthorn, that, and the thing is, I'm gonna cut that off with a hedge trimmer, but here, but ultimately that will just keep regrowing because the roots have come out on suckers. Look, we can get, look underneath here, look. I've cut it back a bit now, and you're starting to see a bit more of the hedge. But it's, it's rough cut, I've gotta go over it a number of times. Look, there's the, the blackthorn growing. I've got to cut that down and the cattle will graze it to a degree but they won't eat stuff like that but look so there's there's like i said there's the um wire hedge line there's a ditch the other side really you want to have that clear on the edge to the hedge should be the other side of the ditch but you know you can't get the hedge trimming down there very easily quite often but look at it that brown strip is all new hedge trying to regenerate and grow out into there anyway there's just a bit of knowledge there. Most of you probably know all that stuff anyway, but um, that's that's how I see it when I'm doing stuff. I see 
See how nature always wants to win and will win if you let it. Which isn't a bad thing because we're, people as a planet on this planet don't treat it very well, do they? You know? Um, and I can see it in nature being encroached on all the time everywhere. Mostly due to population growth. If we, if we had a stable population, you could maintain the world and the countryside at a really good level. But as we keep having more and more kids and um, spreading out everywhere, we're losing a lot of what is the world as nature intends it to be. Right, anyway. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I do. When you're on the, it's funny, when you're on the tractor like this, you do think a lot because you've got a lot of time on your own. Right, and I think some stuff like that. Right, I'm gonna get going. We'll stop again in a bit. just caught the edge of a blooming bit of barbed wire and uh, uh, took out a post as well and it's actually trailing me. Can you see there, there's a bit of barbed wire Like a dog. Look. I'm gonna have to get off and take that out. All right, just put that down on the ground a minute. No. Let's have a look. The weld's still holding up on there. The um. I'm just waiting for it to stop. Look, can you see it spinning round? I'm always conscious that rotor could flick anything out. I mean, if a flail head came off there or anything, it would take my head off. So I always wait for it to stop. Look, here we are, look. Clip that. Oh, that's my phone. Clip that with the hedge trimmer. But look at the end there. Look at that, rotted off. Only that little bit holding it. So, caught it on there. I'm going to put it. It's caught on the front. I'm going to. I'm going to put it in the gateway. Look, there's another gate open from our friends. Come through. Look, I even barbed wired that one up. I'm 
anyway. So that's another repair job. I mean, you just can't help it. If you're trying to do this job, you do nick a few of these posts. But when they're rotten like that, they just snap off. And uh, as you notice, that was uh, the old tannalized version. I've now switched to all creosoted stakes because those tannalized things, they're rubbish. The uh, chemicals in them aren't like they used to be. They banned a lot of the arsenics and stuff. So you, what you've got now is a post that's almost like a dipped in something that's got a bit of colour to it. And it lasts about four or five years. So I, if that sometimes. So I'm now switched to creosote stakes, a little bit more money. But actually, do you know what? If it saves me coming back down here to do fencing, the extra money is well in, well returns much more better because it's, it's, a, it's my time that's more important now, really. Um, so as I go around the farm over the years, I'm just replacing everything that rots off with creosoted stakes, which has got to be a better thing really in the long term. I wish I'd done it 20 years ago, because all these stakes over time I've replaced probably two or three times. Right, anyway, let's get going, that's all right now. Let's get going and keep going on round. Just go and nip back. Oh, this zoom. Zoom. Just one look and now my heart went boom. Flying high on a neon sky. Oh, 
zoom. Right, we're gonna head back there and I'm just gonna, I'm literally gonna go up for my lunch now. I got a sausage roll with my name on it in the fridge. Right, we're gonna go and have a look at where I've been cutting back this hedge. We just fold it back in. careful to lift this up look what I did the other day I knocked the flipping uh, beacon off luckily I think it's got just an attachment there I can probably put back on not very clever was it right going down here we'll stop when we get there okay let's have a quick look there we go, look at that, totally mashed up now, isn't it? Still needs bashing back a bit. I've got more work to do, look, the wire's a bit low, that's too low for cattle. It needs to be up this height. Um, well, let's have a look at the stakes, There's no, there needs a stake in there. That one's hidden behind. I bet these are rotted off. What's that one like? Yeah. Bit, bit dadaki as my dad would say dadaki does anyone else use that term so this look at that that is no that's not doing a lot is it look how rotten that is but it's still viable i suppose it's keeping the wire up so look i've gained that much hedge that much field i mean look all the way down there was that with the hedge was out to here and this is this is what you've got to do look look at that it's all mulch In the ideal world, you'd rake that up. Right, so, you know, it's surprising how much that's grown out from that thing. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go on up for lunch now, but I've gotta come back down and finish off that another day. Plenty more work to do here yet, because I've gotta go around tidying up all the red edge of the rest of the field. So, uh, yeah, you can see, you can see what you gotta do, just not just about hedge trimming, you just gotta keep the hedge from growing out. Anyway, there we go. Let's just see if, actually, there's a leak there, isn't there? I've got a leak on that ram. There was a leak, look, on this ram here. It's leaking quite a lot. The oil's on there, look. Seal's gone or going, isn't it? I don't think that's leaking from there. Although, is it leaking from there? It might just be leaking from there. And not from the ram. Might have to just get a spanner on that. That'd be better. Oh, I mean the main thing is I'm not tempting fate here, but so far so good. I'm only made a breakdown because normally when I do this, I normally have a pipe go or something snap or something. Famous last words. I better not tempt fate. Right, I'm going back now. See you guys later. So what should we say? What should we sum up with? Maybe, maybe the old traditional. Crack on.